Holiday music is in the air, and it's likely picking up the spirits of many people. So have you ever thought about the healing power of music, especially its impact on kids of ages, all ages in the hospital? So we are fortunate enough this morning here to talk about music therapy, how it plays a role in helping kids heal is Aaron Fries, a music therapist at Children's Minnesota. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, good morning. Thank you so much for having me here. Yes. Okay, so let's start with this. Explain the basics. What exactly is music therapy for people who may not necessarily know? Yeah, music therapy is an evidence-based allied health profession where we use the clinical properties of music to help accomplish goals that are not musical in nature. So mm. these goals could be physical, cognitive, social, emotional, or developmental. And it's important to note that music therapy is always provided by a board certified music therapist. Mm. And it really can help when it comes to healing with the people that get to experience it, right? Yes, there's a large body of evidence that suggests music therapy is very effective in helping with pain management, helping kids manage anxiety, maybe coping with a new mm. diagnosis, because there are so many situations that can be scary and unfamiliar in the hospital, and mm. music is something that is familiar and comforting and really helps kids cope with their time in the hospital. How do you choose the type of music? Mm. Is it just you take an any type of instrument or like what how do you go on the basis of that? Yeah, I have tons of instruments. I use um, I use my guitar all the time. I bring in pianos and percussion instruments. It really depends on what kind of goals we're working on with the kids. So mm. if I'm working on cause and effect, I might bring wind chimes so that they have something that they can easily oh. reach up and mm. touch. Um, oh. And also I use always patient preferred music. So whatever kind of music the kids like is what we're going to mm -hmm. be using. Oh. I'm curious because yeah. you mentioned you've been with Children's Minnesota for 13 years now. Yes, I have. You've got to see some amazing success stories of kids who have come in there and you're like, wow, this person has blossomed since doing using music therapy. Absolutely. That is why I love my job. Every single day I get to see just the power of music and how it transforms a room, how a kid goes from being in pain to just being relaxed and to being a kid again. Wow. And I, one of my very favorite parts of my job is every Every day, uh, parents will tell me this is the first time my child has smiled since they've oh. come into the hospital. Oh, that's a great feeling, right there. Yes. It is. And it you is. were able to do that. Yes, yes. That's music fantastic. was able to do music that. Is. There you go. Music yes. is so wonderful at helping people feel comfortable in an unfamiliar situation. Erin, yes. thank you so much for taking a couple minutes and joining us this morning. Oh, thank you so awesome. much for having me. It was yes. great to be with you. So, Children's Minnesota nonprofit pediatric healthcare organization. Donations to them help provide life-saving medical care, also support programs such as music therapy, what we were just talking about. Tomorrow, December 8th, is what's called Give to Kids Day. That raises money for Children's Minnesota. So thanks to an anonymous family donation, donations made on that day will be matched up to $25,000. You can go to wcco.com slash links to support Children's Minnesota.